What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So I went ahead, spent the points in our health. I figure if I'm playing a Berserker playstyle, uh, the least I can do is upgrade my health pool. So we are gonna... Oh, that lamp is back. I don't like that. Does that mean Fireman's back alive? Well, hang on. Either way, I'm gonna go kill this baddie first. Yes, ladder iframes. Beautiful. And then I can... Ow, you... Yo! Lady. My god, dude. The sheer amount of stuff. I'm gonna die before I've had a chance to do anything, man. I'm just trying to grab some loot. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, X. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to pick up some goodies. God, y'all are so aggro. Do you know how to climb ladders? I sure hope not. So I need to be Umbral. Can I get a plunge attack on you? Where's that goodie I knocked down? No, damn, I'm not even gonna be able to do this because sh they're gonna be throwing shit at me the whole damn time. the uh, leash distance was a little larger on those things. Kind of like crawl right on top of them it seems. Alright, All right, back where we left off. We were about to head up Big dude there. This looks like we're walking into a boss arena over here. All 
Alright, those guys aren't that scary. I got double mangler axes. I can beat them with their own axes. This is probably a... No, there is no bridge here. I probably got to work my way over there and lower that, and that becomes a bridge for me. I'm going to have to... Ooh! Piece of candy. Let's go! Ornithy ring, right at the start. I like it. Are you a... Oh, yes, you are. Hell yeah. Marco the Axe, thank you for your sacrifice to give me a bonfire. Alright. Um... Choose those up. Uh, that axe. No, hang on, equipment. Angler axe. I they require inferno. I'm not using those. Oh well. It's a lot of instances where I'm just barely not killing something. So getting a singular point there, I think, will be quite helpful. Can I sneak up on enemies? I can. Deplete an enemy's posture dramatically by approaching them from the back and delivering a fully charged heavy. The posture is depleted. It can be staggered with attack, parry, or kick. And then the grievous strike. Okay. So it's like, uh, it's like the Bloodborne Visceral style. I think they were already in the stagger stance there. I think that was my, uh... That was the message, like, hey, hit him now. And instead, I kicked him. I'll tell you what, the game is not shy about the amount of enemies it throws at you. And like, you're very easily getting overwhelmed with the uh, just the sheer amount of stuff that we are fighting against. Okay, so Umber World, I can go that way. Feet does not budge. It looked like there was another path over here that I was able to explore. A little early on my dodge there. Alright, so Perry's body those guys because it instantly put him into a stagger state so if I let go of this am I just underwater <laughs> Oh god, dude. <laughs> Boy, that was really dumb. That was really dumb. That that was dumb, but that was funny, to be honest. That was actually really funny. Like, what happens if I walk in the water? Instant drown! Oh, man. Come here. Is there like a treasure or oh there is There's something down here. speed that that attacks with.
Umbral Scouring. So, I'm hitting 120. This is 140. I might be better off with one-handing. I mean, 120 versus 140 isn't a huge difference, and the attack speed seems significantly longer with two-handing my weapon. Where are we dropping down? I know where we're at. That might be the way to go, because I'm just like smack, 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 smack. I think that little bar I'm seeing indicates his, uh, his stagger. It's like a very small bar, like a small uh, outline in a circle. I need one of those things to go under, or in theory, I should be able to just go. I think I can go as long as I'm. Nope. Okay. So I have to. I have to transition. Or just let this happen, and that will transition. Which I guess there's really no difference. Either way, I'm going into the Umbral Realm. There's just a whole slew of y'all. Do the the sweeps. So any AOE situation, one handing is clearly the play. I mean, God, even even outside of a uh, a sweep situation, that might be the play. The attack speed is so much better. So what did we get? We came all the way over here. Came over here and we got a goodie off of that. That was it. Is there another path? Oh, there's a ladder. Hey, I don't know, man. I I'm off to the the first real boss fight we get. I want to test two handing versus one handing because I think the attack speed from one handing would completely outclass. Any real reason to two hand our weapon? Okay, and here's our shortcut kick it down.
tree from before. Holy ward, the game's giving me that. Your stamina regen. Increase your defense against radiant magic. Let me put on this. I don't need mana, so I'll put that on. Okay, so I think I use these and it'll immediately give me back ammunition. All that does is get me out of here. Slide. You don't look like a bad guy. I'm gonna hope you're not a bad guy. Oh, this is probably how I like plant seeds, yeah. Vested seed requires a vested seedling. And you're gonna give me you one carry the lamp long enough and you'll see history repeat. Over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself should you fall, make use of this. Yep. Special color when close to an umbral flower bed. When positioned on an umbral flower bed, old to grow a vested seedling. They serve as a point of revival should you die. Now I wonder how limited these are. Because I like the, the make your own bonfire concept, but if it's like they're a super rare item. See, like that's something that would be... Uh, would be useful from a walkthrough perspective is knowing like, oh yeah, you're gonna want these because of blah blah blah. Um how much am I getting off of that? My stamina feels pretty good. And it looks like I have latest and then a listing. So free warping between the world, that's nice. I've given you more umbral gut from now on. Find your own way. So brooding and angry. <laughs> Sky rest bridge key to open this door. Okay. Wonder if that's where the uh, the bells are. I like the uh, the shift in the coloration here. Something over there is taking damage. Can I get this loot without being lit on fire? Barely. Oh, something juicy's happening up there. Hey, it's a fireman. Yo, soften him up for me, gang. Loves its breakable objects. It's my one handed. That's gonna be a heavy. That's gonna be a thrust. So probably running into the thrust. Oh man, get animation stuck. like a sack of bricks that time. So, looking at those... I wish there was a, a hit the back button 
to look at stuff. Because there's burn and there's ignite. And I would like to know the difference. Maybe journal? Oh. My guess is maybe burn damage is like a quick ignition that does a burst of damage. Whereas the ignite is a more a consistent like damage over time. I mean, there has to be some difference between them, but. about to be a boss fight, isn't it? Um, I feel like that's going to be useful. Okay, so uh, if I pop this. Rolling does put it out. Or it looks like it, it dropped significantly there. Oh, holy Aureus. By your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters. So we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, Bearing what was not yours to receive. It was mine to receive. I was a chosen. Trail made flesh. And one I cannot brook. Well, this is a good chance for me to test out the one-handed versus two-handed. So let's start two-handed. Ooh, you got some range on those. Damn girl! not. That's right, even if I do parry, I, that's right, I still take slight damage. That tooltip say locate something something. We're gonna try one more two-handed. I think I went into that. Yeah, you know, kind of a kind of a sloppy start to a fight. Beckon. All right, that probably has him come help with the boss fight. Gotta get past the moths. So I'm getting 97 per hit. This is 83, and I'm getting in two much faster there. Yeah, so far, man, one hand, it seems like it's just the way to go.
All right now, is she open for the kick now? Yes, okay, so it is, it's, it's hard to see, but there's a small circle on top of the boss, and there's a little ring around that circle that'll dissipate. And that indicates when you can get your thing off. Yeah, I think two-handing is just too slow. Unless it's like maybe for all heavy attacks or something. That's weird to me. Because, like, right now, we're gonna do one more attempt here before I close this episode out, but early impressions on a real boss, there's no reason to two hand my weapon. Like, yeah, it's a different moveset and it does slightly more, but the attack speed difference is outrageous. I mean, maybe with different weapons, the heavier attacks do do better, but. Right now, this this feels like why why would I ever two hand that with the the slower recovery, the slower everything, when I can easily get in two attacks with one handing it. Okay, that was kind of a bad showing there. Sloppy dodges. I think you need to be there is a sweet spot and the position when you when you do that Mega laser beam got me. Come over here and fight, please. And that one comes out really fast. Alright, well, this doesn't seem like it's going to be particularly hard. Um, the one-handed definitely seems like it's the way to go. I just, like, attack so much faster. Uh, unless, I mean, I guess the only instance I could really see for two-handing is if I have to dodge strike, dodge strike. But we're going to wrap things up here. Next episode, we'll take her out, and then, like I said, we'll push on as far as we're allowed. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you all soon with part three.